Evening boys and girls. So Sarah's been having a look around on Facebook Marketplace. And this afternoon we went and picked up this little set, which is not one I've seen before. I'm not into naval stuff, but there was this and three other kits, which I'll do separate videos of, which we got from this nice chap, doesn't live too far away. And his son, grown up, moved out, left these behind in the loft. So his dad's having a clear out. So I haven't touched this box. I've literally got no idea. All I've done is look it up on um, the scale mates. See, here we go. Set of four famous destroyers at the Second World War. Uh, got two flying arrows. And skill level two. Series, yeah, series five. Scales one six hundred. And then got the usual humble paint numbers. A bit of blurb. Not suitable for children under three. Uh, and then the sizes and part count. Um, yeah, and a smiley face. Yay! Eight plus makes you smile. Don't know. I assume that means if you're eight and over, you'll be happy to build this. Uh, right, let's have a look. bit of history this boxing with all four of them is from 2001 uh, but I should go over when the kits themselves were made in a minute so looks like they've put all the instructions into one booklet so okay so First of all is the Cossack. So the Cossack was originally issued in 1959. So although this kit, you know, you bought it in 2001 thinking, oh, this is nice. It was already 42 years old. So uh, yeah, so there's a little bit of blurb about it there. As I seem to recall, although I always used to think the ships were a bit on the fiddly side, they actually went together pretty simple. And looking at that, there's not that many parts there, is there? What, what's the part count on that? Way up to 37 parts, I think that looks like. And then we've got the old black and white colour call out. Very nice. Then HMS Hotspur. So there's the blurb about that. So it's nice that they've re redone the instructions because there's no way these are the original ones. Okay, a few more parts on that one. Up to 70 it looks like. And then the paint scheme there. So the hot spur that was made in 1963. So yeah, positive new build. So then we're on to the Campbelltown, which was from 1961. So 40 years old when they were throwing this in a box. So there's your blurb there. Remember the last time I built a ship? A very, very, very long time ago. So I'm not sure if I'm going to actually bother with this because it's not really my cup of tea. But as it was part of a bundle, and you know, too good an offer to to turn down. I thought at least I'll show it off because, like, like I said, I've never seen. I've seen aircraft. Um, we get dogfight doubles and things like that. But not seeing it with ships. So, uh, 
cynical me is they've got four old uh, moulds knocking about. And they thought, oh, I'll just whack them in a box with some new instructions. As if FX would do such a thing these days. So this is the Narvik German destroyer. This is the newest of the lot, being from 1975 by the look of it. I couldn't find an earlier one, but... Um, yeah. It's all nicely laid out though. Doesn't look like it would be a troublesome bit. This one's probably slightly more, more to it. There's a lot more parts on this one. We'll be up to 90... 93, 93 by the look of it. And then we've got the, the cord out there. Okay, so that's it for the instructions. So, okay, so they've been opened and labelled by the previous fella. Sprue for this one. I seem to remember my uh, my younger, bigger brother. Yeah, uh, make make of that what you will. So two bigger brothers, the younger of the two. That's what I meant to say. I seem to remember he used to like doing ships. idea of how, how big the finished article will be, if I can get this to stay vaguely together. There we go. So what's that about? Eight inches, something like that. That's quite sweet really. So I'm actually getting slightly tempted to build these. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. 1963. Can you see that on there? Is that showing up? Here we are. Airfix Products, 1963. Nice. So quality-wise, don't look too bad. It's a little bit of flash here and there. But not awful. Hmm. Okay, that one certainly seems okay. It's then got the Cossack. It's obviously been looked after because it's not just all the loose bits in the back. Yeah, a little bit of flash on there. Uh, and these are all old and just you know if you're like me you think 2001 is just the other day that's 22 years ago so these were at least that old when they were put in the box um, and from moulds that what's the oldest one 1959 so what's that 60 64 years ago now, so yeah, you can forgive it being a little bit covered in flash and so on. So, yeah, there we go. That's quite nice, that. Mm. Yeah, you know, I, might, I might just do these. Has that got a date on it stamped anyway? No, I can't see it in there. No. 
I'm glad he's labelled them anyway. Because it makes you wonder if they if they labelled them in the first place. I would have thought they would have done. They wouldn't have just let you guess which one was which, would they? Would they? I don't know. stick those down before I put them back in the box. So what's this one? So this is the German one. The Norvik class. Okay, that one hasn't been opened. So... Shall I open that one? I can see what I'm, what I'm getting into there. So this one has sort of crisper lines on it. Better made. Um... Which kind of makes sense. This was the latest one from 75. So it's a newer mould and a newer design. So you'd expect it to be slightly better quality. Oh, well, hang on. Oh, there we go. I thought it said 1950 something there. No, it's 1974. You could just make it out on there. Uh, okay, so a year. A year earlier than scale mate said, but I might have just not read it properly. Yeah, it looks okay. Some detail on there. Nice. Okay. And finally the Campbell Town. Again, open this one. So maybe they didn't label them then, unless this is actually airfix person's handwriting. Don't know, if you know better, let me know. If you've got one of these and you opened it and found it was handwritten, I'd be interested to hear. Because there's nothing else in the box to suggest which one's which. Mm. That's not bad, you know. seen it called flash service before complaint slip yeah defective part where to send it and then in other languages there's a few decals not many I don't know if there should have been more than that it looks a bit cut off doesn't it but that's all there is in the box except for one loose part Oh, that's just a bit of sprue anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. That's the first of today's unboxings. Which, you know, if you're into your naval stuff, four of those in a box. Okay, they're not the latest and greatest of kits, but that would have been a bit of a bargain, really. I'm liking the artwork though, that's, that's the best bit. Look at that. Cracking paint in that. Right, okay, that's that one. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you shortly with the next one. Bye.